exciting thing is going on. Well, basically, this, this came in the mail for me today. I'm so excited about these. These are meal prep trays. We've never done this before. And I'm gonna meal prep today and kind of show you what we got in the fridge, kind of show you what I'm gonna do with it. <laughs> so hopefully make us eat healthy this week and keep on track. I, I got these on Amazon. I think the whole pack of 21 was like $15, but they're supposed to last over months and months if you take good care of them. They um, are microwave safe. They're able to go in the dishwasher. So definitely, definitely something good to invest in, I think, if you're wanting to eat healthy and stay on track. First of all, my kitchen is a mess. Well, not there. I did the dishes. I did. Can you see? But my stove is gross. <laughs> We're gonna check my fridge now and see what we have going on. Do I need to organize? I don't know. I don't know. But I have a ton of eggs. I buy this thing. I think this was $4 at Walmart where we live. Um, 60 eggs. It lasts us almost the entire month. I have some potatoes I'm gonna have to use up. Um, let's see that's down here. I have some chorizo, some mushrooms, some random, oh the definitely, oh, oh yeah, I have these sweet potatoes I'm gonna definitely prep and some spinach. And down here I have some carrots and lettuce. I also have this bag of onions that I desperately need to use up. So I'm gonna pull that out. Now we've never really meal, like I like I prep meals and I prep things to use for during the week. I've never done individual meal prep trays. So I'm pretty excited to try it. Basically, my husband and I are definitely trying to stay within a budget and that means using all the food we buy. I'm realizing that's pretty much just what it means to budget your groceries, which we've done for years, but I've never really been able to stick to it. We're gonna just make good use of all the food that we buy, even if it might be a little random, and I will show you along the way. I actually also just decided that I'm going to roast the sweet potatoes instead of use the Instant Pot, because while the sweet potatoes are roasting, I can do the hard-boiled eggs in the Instant Pot and kill bad boys just a little bit to prevent them from sticking and I'm gonna put in this oh my gosh this is like become our new favorite thing Malden sea salt it's flake salt so it's kind of like a finisher salt I mean I don't know if you can see how coarse it is but oh my gosh when it hits your tongue it's like Disneyland for your taste bud since we cannot go to Disneyland right now you know gotta keep it fresh okay, so I'm putting it in the oven 375 degrees. Let that go. Now I'm putting the water in my instant pot. Y'all, look at that thing. Isn't that nasty? It's from all the beans I've. It's just staining from all the beans I've cooked over the years. But I know that I need to get some uh, barkeeper spoon to get that off. Ooh. Alright, I got all my eggs in the instant pot with a little basket. Now I'm gonna. I like to do the five, five, five rule. That just means five minutes to come to pressure, five minutes to cook, five minutes to sit with the pressure valve, and then take it out and just ice them. I break a lot of no-no rules, but here's one of them. I just, you know. We're all, we're all gonna live. So for protein, I have a few things going. I have some frozen chicken that I pulled from the freezer, some black beans that I pulled from the freezer that I bulk cooked a couple weeks ago. I just need to use up. And then some, the rest of a three pound log of ground turkey. So that's just going to be our protein for our lunches this week. This is mostly going to be for lunches. And I'm sure my kids are going to get into them too. So I'm like, I should probably make a few extra so that I don't portion it all out and lose my mind when grabby hands grab things. Plan ahead. I'm going to make some granola or mix some granola up to put in the oven once the sweet potatoes and broccoli are done. Since I'm making said granola, I just got this idea. I bought these uh, a few weeks ago on Ibotta. They were the free giveaway. And I saved the glasses, I washed them, and I'm like, you know, they'd be perfect for little yogurt parfaits, and I'll just cover them with some Syrian wrap and stick them in the fridge. So I'll make a few of those, and that could be like snacks for randomness throughout the week too. Update. I've got all these laid out for the cold trays. So I got baby carrots I had to use up. And over here, I sliced a bunch of apples that were needing to also be used. The juice of the lemon, shook them around, 
generally when you buy the prepackaged apples that are like super expensive, the slices, you know, I think there's some kind of citric acid and I know that helps browning anyway, so I went ahead and did it. Like you see, I waiting for the granola to come out, did all the yogurts. Let's go check on the granola. Eh, it's getting there. I should probably toss it. But here's the broccoli and sweet potato. Those came out really well. Nice bright colors. And then, oops, I waited too long for my hard boiled eggs. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those out. Wanted to give another update before I lidded the these, lid, put the lid on, <laughs> put the lid on these and put them in the fridge. I probably should have done more hard boiled eggs, but I just did some rolled up turkey that we had in the fridge. Yeah, apples. Everything's in there and I'm gonna just put the lids and put them on in the fridge. I went ahead and put the lids in Saran Wrap on my yogurt parfaits as well. They turned out pretty cute and delicious. So I can't wait to have those like ready for a snack when anyone wants one. Another update. I went ahead and just portioned all of the sweet potatoes and broccoli out. Oddly enough, I had enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and make our proteins now. Provided everything's portioned out correctly, I kind of, I'm already seeing I like this because then I can see how much food we have left for next week. I don't know how it's going to work out by the end of the week if I'll have any left or if I won't have had enough. Like I said, this is a total experiment, so we will see as we go and maybe have to adjust for next time. I had to turn a light on in here. There's a thunderstorm and it got all dark. Okay. I'm going to show you the finished product. I got my <laughs> the sweet potato, broccoli, black beans and ground beef. I didn't end up needing the chicken, so I just marinated the chicken and I figured I'll use that in a meal sometime this week. There you have it. That was six dinner, well, six dinners or lunches, six snacks. I did those five yogurt parfaits, half of which are already gone. <laughs> have some more ground turkey left over and some more beans. And I probably will throw those in some tortillas and just freeze them. Tune in next time to Lauren Learns. I might be doing more meal prepping soon. Do you want to say hi? Bye. Hopefully I will be doing some more meal prep videos in the future. I will let you know how this week goes and report back whether or not it was enough food. I'm scared it's not. Both of my kids have just been in growth spurts too, so like I probably should have planned for that. Talk to you all soon.